Have you ever seen popular people do this before? Well, it dates back to the pharaohs. The pharaohs worshiped the sun god Ra, and they believed Ra could send his eye on a mission to destroy his enemies. So this became known as the eye of Ra. So it's not something that people just now came up with. Pharaohs also believed that the eye of Ra could manifest through female goddesses. And one in particular is Hathor. Now this is about to get very interesting. This is the image of Hathor. And the sun above her head represents Ra. And the pharaohs believed that the eye of Ra could manifest through her. So the pharaohs trusted in these entities to provide for them, to protect them, to defend them. And the list goes on. And this is something that you need to be aware of because these practices are taking place right in front of us. If you take a look at her, she's depicting herself as Hathor. This explains why the image of the sun is in the background. Take a look at this. It says Hathor, a goddess of the sky, the sun, and fertility. It's often called the Eye of Ra. So they're not doing anything new. However, it dates back to the pharaohs. In fact, the pharaohs believed that Hathor could transform herself into a cow. This takes me back to the scriptures where the Most High sent the plague that affected Pharaoh's cattle in a negative way because the Pharaohs believed that Hathor was the goddess of cattle. And this is why she's wearing a cow printed dress. If you're not aware of these things, you would think that they are doing something new, but they are not. And if you're wondering how the Most High feels about this, he sent 10 plagues to Egypt for partaking with this right here. However, we see the same practices happening right now. The pharaohs also believed that they were the embodiment of Horus. They believed that Horus is the son of Ra. So they honor Horus as the deity of the sky. Take a look at this. It says the pharaohs of Egypt, they were associated with Horus since the pharaoh was considered to be the earthly embodiment of the God. And the all-seeing eye represents both of them. The right eye is symbolic of Ra and the left eye is symbolic of Horus. Now they have different functions. The eye of Ra is a symbol that represents destruction. And the eye of Horus is a symbol that represents protection. So Pharaoh really believed that when Moses and Aaron confronted him, that Ra would come to their defense and Horus would protect them from the Almighty. But the Most High demonstrated that no one can defend you or protect you from his power. Now let's move forward because I want you to realize many popular people are in alignment with Pharaoh. The left eye is alluding to Horus. However, this is how the prince of the air disguises himself. So when people come into agreement with this, they are actually coming into agreement with the prince of this world. See, many people have fostered these practices, but they are presented in different ways, just to name a few. Entertainment, videos, and performances. And if you don't know the history behind this, you will never think twice when you see these things. And just like most people, you just might end up calling it art and entertainment. I want you to understand that no matter what time we are living in or who decides to come into alignment with this, it doesn't change the true intent of the message. Brothers and sisters, be not deceived. Watch and pray. God bless you.